Hey, who's ready for part two of the Hot Bowl Soup Series here in Atascadero? Let's start that music. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm here at Thai Elephant and today we are getting the wonton soup and the tom yum soup. Wow, oh, it looks amazing. Okay. I, I have a question. Yes. On here, how do you pronounce that? Is it Galango? Galanga. Galanga? Galanga. Galanga? Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I've never I can tell you which one the Galanga is. Okay, which oh, one? Oh, you know which one? Is it, is it the, like the root one? It's like the yeah, half one. Really bitter yeah, kind of? Yeah, it's just a flavor. You don't have to eat them. Yeah, yeah. I've but had it before. It's good for your stomach. It's good for your stomach? Yeah. Perfect, yeah. thank you. We've got, looks like the wonton soup right here. And then we've got our Tom Yum uh, soup right here. And I, I got that with the chicken. So actually they both have chicken uh, in them. So I was just asking her because in the Tom Yum, there's a root type uh, seasoning. It looks like it says Galango, but she said it's Galango. So the Tom Yum is a hot and sour soup. It comes with lemongrass, mushroom, tomato, cilantro, and onion. All right, so let's try it out. It's good if you have not had Tom Yum soup before. Try it here at Thai Elephant. I've had it before and it's really, really good. This is that Galango root. I guess it looks like uh, like ginger, I guess, uh, when it's not cooked. It almost looks like a ginger root. But yeah, it's got a really bitter taste, so uh, you can eat it. They say it's good for digestion, but it's already kind of been marinating in the broth, so you can definitely taste that flavor. It's really good. Little, little mushroom. Look at that mushroom. Kitolo. That was it. That was the Tom Young. And let me tell you, it was young. All right, so I got the chicken wonton soup here as well. So take a look at that. Looks like it's got white onion, some more cilantro. Maybe even a little bit of garlic in there. Yeah, it's got garlic. It's so good. Let's try this out. Ooh. Got, a little, got a little shrimp in there. This one's good. It's kind of lighter broth. It's a much lighter broth than Tom Yum. Tom Yum's really got that sweet and sour. It's got the oil in there. This one's got the clear broth in there. So definitely very warm. Good soup for the fall. Gonna get, get ourselves a little, little wonton in there. And the green, this green stuff is spinach. Spinach is really good for that. That was it. That was the chicken shrimp wonton soup here at Thai Elephant. So they have a uh, another, so I got the Tom Yum, but they actually have one called the Tom Ka. And that one is exactly the same, except they use a coconut milk soup instead of the uh, hot and sour soup. Um, I've had it before. That's not, that's not my favorite. I really like the Tom Yum more, but I know a lot of people who love the Tom Ka. So um, we're trying them out. And you can decide for yourself. That's all I got for Thai Elephant. So let's head on over to the next spot. You're not going to believe who made it to the Hot Bowl series. No, 
Yeah. Good. Okay. I'm doing uh, I'm doing a series on all the like food that's served in bowls, like yeah. soups and ramens. And so I've been wanting to get in here, but my Saturdays have been like crazy booked up. So. Okay. So I'll you... do the video, and then I'll do the uh, and I'll just do a coke. Okay, we have the coke. So it is the, the Mexican cook, right? The one in the glass? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so he already knows, right? He already did it. I think so, yeah. If not, just let it, yeah. Just like a bowl of birria? Yeah, the birria, yeah, a bowl of the birria. And then does it come with like taco or anything? or? Well, you can make like the quesadillas as well. Like a taco with cheese and the birria meats. Like yeah. The, yeah, I'll do that with the, with the soup as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, however, it's co however it comes. Well, actually, if you ask for the bowl of beauty, it's just going to be the bowl. Okay. Like, with the soup with the meat and the tortillas on the side. Oh, uh, okay. But, but he can also make you, I guess, like a beer so you can try it. With And then you can dip it in the soup? Well, it's already, like, the only difference is because it's just going to have cheese. But it's the same meat with the same okay. soup. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do the soup with the tortillas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just got my bowl of video. Look at that. It smells amazing. And they gave me some hot tortillas. Alright. So what I do is they also give you a little cilantro, white onion, some lime. We're just gonna put it all in there. Is that line? So flavorful. And they give you so much. That was the birria. And what the birria is, it's a beef type consomme, which is soup. Um, I'm not exactly clear as to what or how their broth is made, but it's really good. I'm telling you, it's like the perfect fall broth soup concoction. Plus you throw that cilantro, that white onion, that lime, Oh, so good. And then with the tortillas, and you dip it in. Now that was a hot bowl. That's it. That was Las Adelitas Hot Bowls. So, right now we're heading over to a place called Juice Boss. And I hear that they are doing seasonal soups. They're mainly known for doing freshly squeezed juices. So, uh, I saw that they have soup some seasonal soup, so we're gonna try that out.
All right, we made it to the Juice Boss. Let's try out their soup. Okay, so I'm here at the Juice Boss. I got the soup. All right, so let's check this out. Oh, actually that smells really good. I don't know if you can see. Check it out. That is their potato leek soup. There it is. I'm sure these guys do it all organic, all super fresh. All right. Got the rosemary bread right here. We're gonna try that out. Let's dip that in. So good. It's just nice and thick. It's, it's perfect. It's a perfect soup for the fall. So if you're downtown in Tascadero on Entrada, check out Juice Boss. They're serving up wholesome organic bowls of uh, amazing soup. That's it. This soup just warms the soul. I love the fall weather. This place is a pretty nice place to hang out and enjoy a hot bowl of soup. All right, what's next? All right, guys, we are here at Kushi Korean Barbecue slash uh, Kailana Japanese restaurant. So it's two restaurants under one roof. Uh, anyways, I am getting the udon, uh, the vegetable udon noodles, as well as their spicy chicken ramen. This is the... That's the ramen. That's the ramen, that's yeah. the ramen. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Thank you very much. I just got the spicy chicken ramen. I got the vegetable food on, check them out. Here's that ramen. And that's the udon. So I think we'll start with the udon. All right, so this udon, it looks like it's got a little cucumber, carrot, some red bell pepper, mushroom, uh, definitely some sesame seed. And obviously your udon noodles. Whoops. It looks like they have some uh, chopped up uh, green onion in there. And there's also some white onion as well. So let's try it out. Try not to make a mess. Oh, it's really good. Definitely the, the soy flavor broth with the uh, sesame. It's really good. Now that's a good bowl. So if you're looking for Japanese style hot bowls, this is the vegetable udon here at uh, Koshi slash Kailana. We're gonna try the udon noodle. Udon noodles. Let's try the udon noodle. Alright, that was the udon. 
So one thing I gotta tell you about the udon is it's a slippery noodle. It's bigger, it's thicker, and it's kinda got like a, not really a slimy texture, but it's really slick. So when you're using your chopsticks, you get to the bottom of the bowl, and the noodles start getting a little smaller, you really gotta, you gotta, you gotta have some skill with those chopsticks. Like, straight up advanced. Yeah, they're just slipping right off. I think the wooden chopsticks would have been better, but that udon was amazing. Vegetable udon here at Koshi. All right, let's grab that ramen. Here's the ramen. Mm. This is the spicy chicken ramen. Let's try out this broth. I'm gonna bring you a little closer. There we go. It's definitely got a kick. <clears throat> So in here we've got chicken, carrot, looks like some zucchini, cucumber. We've got the uh, red bell pepper again, uh, green onion, white onion, and looks like we've got some mushroom as well. So a lot of the same things that were in the udon are in this, but the uh, broth definitely is a different flavor. It's a much thicker, thicker broth so and much spicier all right let's bust the chopsticks let's see what we got let's try this chicken out so it's grilled chicken Ooh, we've got some egg in there a little egg and there's the noodles let's try these noodles out It's ramen, that's for sure. So overall, the flavor's good. And both of these bowls each are right around $11, so. Pretty decent deal these days. Both are nice hot bowls. And uh, yeah, the spicy chicken ramen here is it's pretty decent. It's got a nice little kick to it. You get a lot in both bowls. They're full. They're not small for sure. So, I recommend. Oh, there's that egg. Oh, it's falling apart. That egg fell apart. All right, well, it's time for that ramen time lapse. So that's it for Koshi slash Kailana restaurant. Um, I think that's gonna be it for the soup series for right now. I may come back and do a third because there are a few other places that uh, we can fit into this series, but I'm not making a rush of it, but we got this one out and I hope you enjoyed all the different places I've been to. Um, but until then, please like this channel, subscribe to it if you really like it. And if you really wanna keep up to date, hit that notification bell. Also leave some comments if there's any places that I miss or that you would like to see in my videos. So until then, see you at the next video.